Section 9 of Studies in Word Association. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Studies in Word Association by Carl Gustav Jung. Translated by M. D. Ader. Chapter 2. The Associations of Normal Subjects. Part 8. Number 8. Subject about 38 years old, cultured, is the elder sister of number 6. Table. Associations. Normal. First hundred. Coordination. 6. Predicate. 49. Casual dependence. 1. Coexistence. 18. Identity. 1. Verbal motor forms, 20. Word completion, blank. Clang, blank. Rhyme, 1. Indirect, 1. Meaningless, 1. False, blank. Repetition of stimulus word, blank. Egocentric reaction, 15. Perseveration, blank. Repetitions, 14. Some grammatical form, 29. Same number of syllables, 33. Alliteration, 10. Consonants, 10. Same ending, 1. Inner associations, 56. Outer associations, 39. Clang reactions, 1. Number of associations, 78. In number 8, the inner associations are more numerous than the outer. This individual also shows a very subjective reaction type, particularly noticed in the large number of predicate relations, and especially in the numerous subjective valuations. The number of egocentric reactions is also somewhat high. From these figures and from the individual quality of the reactions, there emerges a distinct familial relationship we can, therefore, conclude with great probability that the subjective reaction type of number six rests not upon accident, but upon a familial condition. It becomes interesting to ascertain how the relations as to the quantity hold within this family, whether the superficial phenomenon demonstrated in subjects three, four, and five of this family and progressing towards the youngest member of the family presents anything analogous. For this purpose, we reproduce the chief figures of our subjects in the normal state. Table. Inner associations. Mother, 70%. Elder daughter, 56%. Younger daughter, 35%. Outer associations. Mother, 19%. Elder daughter, 39%. Younger daughter, 58%. Clang reaction. Mother, 0%. Elder daughter, 1%. Younger daughter, 5.5%. Egocentric reaction. Mother, 40%. Elder daughter, 15%. Younger daughter, 7%. These figures show complete analogy with the condition demonstrated in subjects 3, 4, and 5. The picture as a whole looks like an experiment in distraction, which has extended so far as to reverse the relationships between the inner and outer associations. The increase of the Klang reactions gives a similar picture, as does the decrease in egocentric reactions, which, as subject number six showed, expresses to a certain extent the measure of the personal interests. Thus, this remarkable analogy between the two family types seems to be something more than mere accident. Unfortunately, our material is not sufficient to explain the observations. The complete proof and explanation of these apparent facts must await an investigation from material specially collected for this purpose. The reaction type of the last three subjects is one very characteristic and widespread. What distinguishes it from other 
Countless market types is the presence of numerous predicates, including a good many subjective valuations. We call this the predicate type. The three subjects, number 9, 10, and 11, are examples of this type. In number 9, the preponderance of predicate relations is distinct in all phases of experiment. Any distraction could not be carried out as the subject was not able to dissociate her attention. The experiment in outer distraction was a complete failure because the subject, like number six, could not carry out two activities at the same time and behave towards the experiment exactly like number six. The larger figures were verbal connection by syllable numbers, alliteration, consonants, suggest perhaps a certain leaning of the reaction towards the mechanical side. Three out of the four faults in the normal state occurred in emotionally toned stimulus words. Wrong, rich, stupid. The predominance on the average of inner associations over outer is noticeable in an educated person. The reaction type is a mixed one and does not show the same subjective character as numbers 6, 7, and 8. Table, number 11, is the mother of the previous subject, very intelligent, cultured, well-read, about 56 years of age. Associations, normal, first hundred, second hundred. Coordination, five, four. Predicate, 56, 35. Casual dependence, 2, blank. Coexistence, 4, 4. Identity, blank, 1. Verbal motor forms, 28, 50. Word completion, 3, 4. Clang, blank, blank. Rhyme, blank, blank. Indirect, 1, blank. Meaningless, blank, blank. False, blank, one. Repetition of stimulus word, blank, blank. Egocentric reaction, six, five. Perseveration, one, blank. Repetitions, five, four. Same grammatical form, 27, 34. Same number of syllables, 37, 41. Alliteration, 11, 3. Consonants, 8, 14. Same ending, 1, 10. Inner associations, 63, 39. Outer associations, 32, 55. Clang reactions, 3, 4. Number of associations, 96, 96. In number 10, Predicate relations exceed on the average the number of coordinates with regard to the failure in distraction. The same must be said as in the case of subjects 6 and 9. The reaction type in the first hundred of the normal state is somewhat subjective, and this is expressed by the 9% egocentric reactions. Perseveration occurs exclusively in distraction. Like number nine, there is an increase in the number of syllables and consonants, which perhaps betokens a slight dissociation. The great number of faults in all phases of the experiment is striking. Of the 14 faults in the normal state, 10 occur in stimulus words charged with emotion. Must, wrong, violence, threaten, suffer, etc. And another two, the subjective emotional tone of the stimulus word is only probable. It must be stated that the subject is slightly hysterical, insofar as she has somnambulic dreams. The proof of this hypothesis we shall present in a later chapter of the Association Anomalies of Hysteria. Footnote. Among his experiments on normals, as Scheffenberg had only one case who had a remarkable number of faults. It was that of a dreamy, meditative, literary young man. End of footnote. Number 13, 
Subject about 22 years, intelligent, all-round culture. The subject felt much embarrassment, hence the great number of repetitions. Only distraction with the metronome at 100 succeeded, and that but slightly. The writing movements were accordingly imperfect. Number 14. Subject about 22 years of moderate intelligence, cultured. We add the figures of this subject only for the sake of completeness. The reaction type is objective. Inner distraction succeeded but imperfectly. Its effect is uncertain, but owing to the absence of the second hundred of normal reactions, information is wanting as regards the deviations in the normal state. For external reasons, the second hundred could not be carried out. Table Associations. Normal, first hundred. Coordination, twenty-nine. Distraction, inner, nine. Predicate, one, ten. Causal dependence, blank, one. Coexistence, thirty-one, twelve. Identity, two, twelve. Verbal motor forms, thirty-four, fifty-one. Word completion, Blank, one. Clang, two, blank. Rhyme, one, two. Indirect, blank, blank. Meaningless, blank, blank. False, blank, two. Repetition of stimulus word, blank, blank. Egocentric reaction, blank, blank. Perseveration, blank, blank. Repetitions, 14, 1. Same grammatical form, 95, 69. Same number of syllables, 59, 40. Alliteration, 10, 9. Consonants, 15, 22. Same ending, 24, 7. Inner associations, 30, 20. Outer associations, 67, 75. Clang reactions, 3, 3. Number of associations, 100, 100. Number 11 is a pronounced predicate type with numerous subjective valuations. A marked relaxation is seen in the second hundred to be attributed to distinct ennui, which was also objectively demonstrated. Therefore, the second hundred no longer corresponds with the normal state, but is rather an experiment in distraction. If, despite this, we compare her reaction type with that of her daughter, number 10, we notice the same phenomenon as before, namely that the reaction type of the daughter is a more superficial one than that of the mother. Table In her association, Mother, 51%. Daughter, 36%. Outer associations. Mother, 43.5%. Daughter, 53.5%. We take this opportunity of repeating that, despite this agreement, the phenomenon may be purely accidental and is one that still requires proof. Number 12, about 40. Very intelligent, well-read. The lady is a North German. The great number of current phrases is peculiarly striking. Inner distraction was a failure. Outer association shows a distinct disturbance of attention. The reaction type is objective. Summary of the group of educated women. The material collected in this group is, unfortunately, somewhat unequal so far as concerns the quantitative relations. The speech conditions are, on the other hand, very uniform in so far as there is only one North German in the 14 individuals. The others are all Swiss, with the dialect as their common colloquial speech. The degree of culture is, on the whole, a very high one. Two have had an academic training. Six of them have command of one or two languages apart from their mother tongue. Ten are relatively extremely well-read. 
distraction experiments were carried out in ten subjects. In five, both an inner and outer distraction. In two cases, only an inner. And in three, only an outer distraction. The outer distraction led to a positive result in four cases. The inner in three cases. There was a partial success in one case of inner and one of outer distraction. Distraction failed in four cases, three of whom were pronounced predicate types. The predicate types as a group who took any part in the distraction experiments showed a much slighter distraction phenomenon than the other subjects. Of the six persons over 30 years old, three showed a preponderance on the average of inner associations over outer. Of the eight persons under 30, only one showed a predominance of inner associations over outer. End of section nine.